Hi mates and welcome back to my World of Tanks channel, I'm Antonov2 as usual and today I finally got round to making a top 5 video once again and we will be counting down the best tier 10 medium tanks and before we get stuck right in I just want to kind of put out a short disclaimer and that is that obviously this list is comprised of my personal favourite tanks. I've also done some research, looked at win rate statistics and so on, but in the end this comes down to my personal preference and maybe depending on your playstyle and so on, uh, your opinion might differ, but if it does please let me know in the comments because then maybe we can get into a discussion and everyone will benefit. And the second thing is, one thing I noticed in my other top 5 videos is that some people mistook them for rating the tanks for clan wars and that is strictly not the case. This video con is concerned with the top 5 strongest tier 10 medium tanks for random battles only in World of Tanks. And now that we've got that out of the way, let's get stuck right in with the first tank coming in at 5th place and this is the Leopard 1. Now the Leopard 1, obviously there's a bit of personal bias here because the Leopard 1 is my first, the first tier 10 medium tank I personally got and I've enjoyed it a lot ever since but even with a personal bias aside I still think this vehicle is very very strong and definitely deserving of the fifth place. So why is that? Well the Leopard 1 has got a really well rounded package. It is very very quick up there with the Batchat Lyon at 65 km an hour top speed and it gets really good traverse speed maneuverability so you're very very nimble but it also gets an amazing 105mm gun with joint best in-game accuracy, amazing aim time, fairly decent DPM although it is not amazing DPM but it is for example a lot better DPM than the E50M gets and that allows you to take apart your opponents very effectively from a distance. It is a deadly sniper but the great thing about the Leopard 1 is that uh, once you're done sniping at the beginning of the game you have got the speed and agility to swoop down on your enemies and clean up the last few remaining tanks at the end of the battle and that versatility is just so nice to have and gives you an edge over the Batshot or the E50M which both are kind of stuck to that one role. Now it is not quite as fast as the Batshot Leon in a straight line but its maneuverability is actually better. You might know that for the 25T it doesn't turn very well but the Leopard 1 does definitely. One drawback that the Leopard 1 obviously gets is that it doesn't have any armor whatsoever and it's slightly better armored than the bat shot but it's still very badly armored worse armor than say the amx 30b and that means that you really have to take care not to get hit because you cannot take a lot of punishment in the vehicle and also um the modules are very easily damaged so that's kind of a bit of a downside right there Still, I think that the Leopard 1 is just an amazing vehicle to have because that speed just allows you to get into great positions to snipe at your enemies and if you get this tank to the right kind of position, it can absolutely brutalize its opponents. So, 5th place, very deserving the Leopard 1 coming in. Coming in at number 4, we have the Object 430 and it was very clear to me that I would take one of the Soviet medium tanks at tier 10 here. But I wasn't quite sure which one to take, but I had a very thorough look into it and actually I made up my mind to go for the Object 430 and I've got very good reasons to do so. Now, in my opinion, when the Object 430 first came out, it was pretty bad, but it's been buffed pretty dramatically since and now I think it's actually the best tier 10 Soviet medium tank because it doesn't only get the highest DPM out of the bunch, but it also gets the best armor. So. It's got slight drawbacks in regards to its gun handling, which is slightly worse than its Soviet counterparts, but it still is not dramatic, and I think it's well worth the advantages you get in rate of fire and armor protection. Armor protection is better mostly for the hull armor, but the turret is not as good as, say, the T-62As or the Object 140's turret even, especially because the top of the turret is very easily overmatched by high-caliber guns. So you have to be careful, but the situations in which enemies get to shoot at the top of your turret 
aren't actually too common and if that doesn't happen then you can definitely go completely ham in this tank. That's what the Object 430 is best at, is just going all in, complete 110% and try to clean up completely. Now the great thing is because of your high DPM and rate of fire, you can definitely shoot yourself out of sticky situations if you find yourself, say, outnumbered. But the high DPM comes at a price because like all Soviet medium tanks, you get the lowest alpha damage at tier 10 with only 320. So that's not very good. But still, I think that the Object 430 overall is a very, very capable vehicle, especially if you're a player who likes to really go very aggressively at the enemy team. And if that is the kind of playstyle you enjoy, then the Object 430 is definitely for you. Especially because it actually also gets amazing camo value, better even than the Batshot 25T. But one drawback that I should also mention probably is the gun depression, which is pretty bad. It's not even as good as the Object 140's gun depression. So uh, I guess it's got some pros and cons again, but still I think it is very, very strong. And actually I believe it's one of the most underestimated vehicles in the game and just simply the fact that it gets the best DPM and the best armor out of all Soviet medium tanks is very very impressive. So in third place we have the Batshot 25T. So this uh, French tier 10 tank has been up there at the top ever since it came out at tier 10 and the reason for that is basically it's amazing burst damage it's got a five shot clip each shot doing 390 damage and that is very very painful if you get ambushed by batshot 25t so it's got the highest in clip damage of any tier 10 medium tank so Another great advantage that the Batshot has is that it's the fastest tier 10 medium tank. Its maneuverability in regards to its uh, traverse speed isn't very good really, but its acceleration in a straight line is nothing short of amazing. And that combined with its very low silhouette and small compact size makes it very very difficult to hit. Unfortunately though, if you do get hit, then it does hurt because you've got hardly any armor. And really the best way to think about the Batshot 25T is as a light tank at tier 10. Now, the Batshot overall is really effective, especially when you get it into a platoon with two other Batshots, because then you can just stomp your enemies completely and just annihilate them with that amazing burst damage that you get in your magazine. Unfortunately, the reload time of the entire magazine and the reload time within shots is rather long so uh, it means that you sometimes have to expose yourself for a fairly long duration to enemy vehicles uh, if you want to get your entire clip in and because you have that low armor uh, that can be a problem and that's why it's best to play a bit defensively at the beginning maybe and then uh, wait till you see an opening of the enemy lines to outflank your opponents while they're distracted and engaging your allies so that you can uh, maximize that damage output from your clip by putting the almost juicy 390 alpha damage shots into the sides and rears of the enemy while they cannot retaliate and uh, that basically negates the disadvantage that you have by uh, having that very bad armor protection. Now the gun handling is not very nice on the back chat really but it doesn't matter too much I think because the way you play this tank you try to get it into the face of your enemy uh, while always trying to avoid fire, basically flanking and um, trying to be very, very swift and maneuverable all the time. So uh, that's the Batshot, basically a classic tank and definitely a force to be reckoned with on the battlefield. So now when we move up to second place, we will be looking at the Czech TVP T50-51 and this vehicle has been one of my favorites in the game ever since it was released it is an absolutely brutal machine and the reason for that is similar to the bat shot it gets an auto loader however in my opinion this tank's gun is better than the bat shots now why is that it gets a four shot clip rather than a five shot clip that the bat shot gets but the reload time of the clip is only 1.5 seconds that is crazy and that means that you can empty your entire magazine within only 3.5 seconds of taking the first shot, allowing you to do a potential damage of more than 1200 hit points in that short amount of time. 
and the accuracy and aim time aren't as bad as on the back shot either and the reload time of the clip is about 20 seconds when you've got good crew and equipment mounted so that means that the DPM of this tank is very good although it has got that auto loader clip now unfortunately the alpha damage is not very good similar to the Soviet tanks that only gets 320 hit points of alpha damage but still with that clip and the short emptying time it gets it is very very dangerous one other drawback is the bad armor and also the fairly mediocre penetration that the gun gets. So all those factors combined kind of mean that you have to play this tank a bit cautiously and that's why it's not in first place is because this tank I feel is pretty situational and for me a medium tank has to be versatile, has to be an all rounder, that's what a medium tank is supposed to be right, it's supposed to be able to adapt to every situation that develops on the battlefield and for me the TVP T50 has to kind of wait for openings and then rush in and empty that complete load of damage that its magazine offers into its enemy size and rear and then be able to quickly retreat so it's a kind of a real assassin this vehicle and because it's kind of this more of a niche tank I feel that's why it's not in place one so you will be asking well what tank fulfills that all-rounder kind of role but is also insanely strong to be able to secure the first place in this rundown and yes it is the Japanese STB-1. For me what is so good about this tank is that it doesn't only get the best DPM of any tier 10 medium tank but it also gets a 105mm gun with 390 alpha damage so that means you get great alpha damage and amazing DPM and that for me is just insane and it, I love it because it allows you it gives you so much opportunities and it doesn't only make your shots really hurt but it also allows you to shoot your way out of difficult situations similar to what you would be able to do on say an object 430 but you do not get that kind of lower shelf damage the tank is fairly maneuverable and most importantly it actually gets somewhat decent armor now the armor is not great but compared to some other tier 10 medium tanks especially the turret can hold up pretty well and that is very important because you get great gun depression which gives this tank so much flexibility and you can just basically no matter what you have to do with this vehicle it will always perform in an all right way now you might say this tank isn't made for sniping and you would be right but even though the kind of amazing gun stats in regard to damage and uh, dpm are compensated by bad gun handling stats still the gun handling is not terrible i mean you get 0.36 accuracy and that is still all right for medium range engagements the aim time is kind of not that great really but compared to other tier 10 medium tanks but again it's not terrible either and for me this vehicle is basically like an m48 pattern but with better mobility and that's why i just adore this vehicle and as i just said it's so versatile i can't really think of a scenario in which i wouldn't want to drive an stb1 i put it like that and that's why for me the stb1 is definitely the best tier 10 medium tank now i'd like to say that really for me all of these tier 10 medium tanks that i've counted down here are all really good and they're fairly close up you know but still uh, the stb1 i think has got just a slight edge over the others and for me just medium tanks are so enjoyable they're probably the best tank class in the game as far as i'm concerned but I'd also like to know what you think about medium tanks and also what you think about my list. So anyway, I hope you found this list informative and helpful. And if you did, please make sure to like the video down below or even sub to my channel. I would appreciate that a lot. Thanks for watching as usual and uh, have fun with those mediums, hey?